Hello friends, welcome to Foods and Flavors. This is Shilpi. Today I'll be showing you how to make sukha or dry alu gobi. I'll also tell you some tips and tricks to make perfect non-mushy, nicely roasted alu gobi. And if you like this recipe, do share it with your friends and family and do subscribe to my channel for more such simple recipes. So let me show you how to make sukha alu gobi. To make alu gobi, I have already heated the pan at medium heat and now I'll add some oil. Today I'm using mustard oil but you can use any cooking oil. It is very important that you choose big pan to make the sabzi so that cauliflower and potatoes do not overlap each other while cooking. That way they will be non-mushy and nicely roasted. When the oil is hot enough, we will add 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, let them sizzle and I'll stir them little bit. And now I'll add some chopped onions, saute and let them cook till they become slightly brown. We will saute them couple of times to avoid burning. Here we do not want onions to be golden brown. We have to just cook them until they are slightly brown and soft. As they will cook along with alu gobi also. Now onions look slightly brown and little soft. I'll add 1 tablespoon of freshly crushed ginger garlic or you can also use ginger garlic paste. Mix it well and cook till the raw smell of garlic is gone. Now garlic looks nicely roasted and smells wonderful. I'll add fine chopped tomatoes and stir it well. And we will also add turmeric powder and mix everything well. And now I'll cover the pan and cook till tomatoes are soft and mushy. We will stir it couple of times in between so that masala does not burn. Tomatoes has been cooking for almost 5 minutes. Let's check them again. And you can see they are mushy and also oil is separated. Now we will add dry spices. Here I have red chilli powder, coriander powder, cumin powder and garam masala powder. And we will mix everything. And now we will add almost 3 cups of chopped cauliflower and 1 cup of chopped potatoes and mix them well in masala. Here you can see I have cut cauliflower in big florets and potatoes in little smaller pieces than cauliflower as cauliflower cooks faster than potatoes. Now we will reduce the flame to medium and add salt and mix it well again. And now we will cook the veggies without lid for about 7 to 8 minutes. We are doing this for two reasons. One is that it will nicely roast the cauliflower and potatoes with masala which will make it very yummy. Second is cauliflower has lot of water. If we cover it now, sabzi will become watery and too mushy and you cannot see any cauliflower pieces after cooking. Now veggie has been roasting for 8 minutes and cauliflower has released lot of water. And now I'll reduce the heat to low, cover it and let it cook for 10 to 15 minutes or till veggies are soft. We will saute them couple of times in between so that veggies do not stick to the bottom. Now sabzi has been cooking for about 12 minutes and now let's check it. For this I'll insert my fork in potato. You can see it is soft. It means it's ready. Now we'll increase the flame little bit and roast veggies for few minutes which will give nice taste and color to the sabzi. Here make sure you do not overcook the cauliflower otherwise it will become mushy and will not taste good. I'll stir the veggies couple of times with very gentle hands. Here you can see all the cauliflower pieces. They are non-mushy, nicely roasted and perfectly cooked. Now alu gobi is ready and it smells so good. I'll switch off the heat and sprinkle some fine chopped coriander leaves. You can serve this alu gobi with parathas, with chapatis or with simple dal rice. Do try this recipe and I hope you like it. Do subscribe to my channel for such more new recipes. You can also see this recipe in my blog www.foodsandflavorsbyshilpi.com I'll be back with another new recipe. Till then, take care and bye bye.